driverless cars are all the rage at this year's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, which features plenty of smart, electric and energy-efficient vehicles. More than 100 car tech companies and nine major manufacturers are showing off their rapidly evolving technology. BMW unveiled its iVision Future Interaction concept car, which offers three driving modes. In pure, the driver has full control of the car. In assist mode, the car is driven manually, but the driving aids automatically kick in if they sense an imminent collision. And in auto mode, the vehicle drives itself without any human input. We all got these traffic jams and problems, so I think it's uh, important that you can use your time more efficiently in the car in the future. And I think this is just uh, a solution to this problem. You can have a futuristic car like this with all the, with all the features, but you need the infrastructure. And until we haven't got this infrastructure, these cars are more or less useless. US carmaker Ford unveiled the new tool it says will help it win the race to make a fully autonomous vehicle, a low-cost, can-sized light and radar sensor, or LiDAR, developed in the Silicon Valley. Until now, the high cost of such sensors has been one of the main obstacles to widespread commercialization of self-driving vehicles. This Batmobile-like electric supercar, the FF01, is the new baby of Californian-based, Chinese-backed startup Faraday Future, which hopes to develop a range of connected vehicles that will challenge luxury rivals like Tesla and Audi on the market for non-gasoline cars. And still smarting from the clean diesel scandal, Volkswagen offered what it called the gateway to the future. The Bud E van is the new generation camper van. Packed with state-of-the-art technology, it offers more than 230 miles of zero emissions range, according to the German carmaker.